Okay, I, I usually don't talk about anything political or anything worldwide because I struggle just to keep my world uh, together in a very small circle that it is currently uh, currently dealing with. But I was having a conversation last night with with some pretty close people. Um, and it's the idea of equality. Um, now, I have a definition here. On the actual definition of equality, and it seems to be a pretty understanding, vague, and broad definition, the state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunity. Now, my opinion is... My point of view is that not everybody was born equally. All right, some people are born shorter, other people are born taller, some are darker, some are lighter than others. Um, some people are born sick and without limbs and other, some people are just stronger and weaker. But I do believe that we all have the same potential to do what we want to do. And obviously it will be harder for some than others biologically. Um, an example I have at the top of my head. Um, if I were to look at my little sister, I was like, hey, can you reach that thing on the top shelf without having to climb on the counter or the sink to be able to get it? And she says, no. And if, as much as that is true, that almost, and, and that's a horrible example, because it doesn't matter how they get to where they're going. In my opinion, the only thing that matters is that they get there. If she needs to use the counter to get that thing on the top shelf, then she can't. If she finds a safer way, a better way of doing it, then then let her. Uh, then that doesn't matter how she gets there necessarily. What matters is that she gets there. Um, some people use the argument, "Oh, men are stronger than females," just by whatever, by biological design. And the thing is that I know multiple men who get beat up by women. <laughs> I know men who cannot handle the same thing women have. Obviously, the one big thing is pregnancy. Apparently, that process is extremely painful and tough, but that's another thing. Men cannot have children. That's something that women are biologically just stuck on doing. Granted, science could probably change that, but that's not necessarily the argument. The argument is just because somebody was born with, quote-unquote, the short stick, or just forget short stick, because somebody was born differently. It doesn't mean that person should be barred from achieving their own dreams and not settle for just a substitute of their dream. I believe that throughout history, not just American history, but throughout the world, oppression has no preference. Race, sex, greed, creed. People, th these factors will make others believe that one is better or worse than the other. And they will do everything from sabotage to hinder to even kill to stop certain people from succeeding. That is just the truth of it. I remember a couple years back when women wanted to join the Marines and people were all up in arms. Oh, my husband's going to be sharing with other women, this, that, and the third. And, 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 and the same argument was said way back when, when they wanted to add women to the police force, when they wanted to add minorities to police force, or even when they wanted to add minorities to, uh, to, to, to integrate them in school systems. Like, oh, these group of people cannot do that. <laughs> They are only bred to take care of certain things, and it's like, that doesn't matter. I believe that regardless of creed, race, height, gender, whatever, that people should be given the basic level of acceptance and potential to be able to reach their goals and dreams. Stopping anybody from, you go, oh, you can't do that, from any other reason other than you, there's no reason to really stop anybody if they really feel like they can try to do something. Unless it might try to hurt them. And even at that, if they're able to come up with a plan, like, oh, I guess it's the plan. This is my goal, and we're going to achieve this, and I don't care what we have to do to make it happen. Martin Luther King, and yes, I'm going to have to use a lot of African-American references because I know that the most, obviously. And I'm sure there are other examples, and if, and if you know, share them. But Martin Luther King knew that his life would be in danger if he stood up for what he believed in. And to say, oh, his life wasn't in danger, because I'm sure somebody at that time, like, he's just one man, what can he do? He started movements. He started people's hopes to 
be raised and, and, and the idea that they can honestly be more than what the world hopes for them to be. And because of that, somebody was like, that cannot happen. Be it the government, be it another individual, whatever, somebody stop that. That's criminal. That's heinous. That is disgusting in every soul. Every level that I know how to describe is, is just horrible. Anybody who's stopping anybody from reaching their goal that is good, with great intentions, that is truly criminal and heinous in my own opinion. And there are people like afterwards like, oh, people who would oppress other people, oh, they only became stronger because I oppressed them. And I've heard that argument. And that's a crazy argument. But And there are going to be crazier arguments, I'm sure, that you guys have heard. But the idea that, oh, I made their life harder, but I only did that so that they could succeed. And that's crazy. The, the, if somebody wants to be something, then we should allow them the stage, for lack of a better word, to be able to do that, the environment to be able to do that. If you want to be an artist, go ahead and be an artist. Male, female, black, white, whatever. If you want to be a, a CEO member of a big corporation or company or what have you, no one should be like, oh, you're a woman, you can't do that. Oh, you're Hispanic and this, that, and the third, you can't do that. And it's like, why not? Other than the fact that you don't want that to happen. You don't, you feel that'll make things complicated and messy. Life is complicated and messy. And the only way to make that less complicated and messy is to understand people have dreams, people have ambitions, people have goals. And being that they were born differently shouldn't prevent them from having these goals and shouldn't prevent them from achieving these goals. So what I'm trying to say is that my idea of equality, because like I said, no we are all different. Yes, we are all human beings, but we are all born differently. So, but that doesn't prevent anybody from seriously achieving their dream. I was watching, and I'm, I, I and I apologize if the way I'm wording this might sound offensive, but know that no offense is meant. I was watching, I think it was the newest MacGyver. My parents were watching it downstairs. And there was a little person, <laughs> uh, a midget or however, you, however people would say it, who actually was in charge of a task force of an organization, of a division, and she was telling people, do this, do that, because we need to get things done. I remember ages ago, I was watching something on, oh God, I think the channel's not even in existence anymore, so I can't even remember it. It was a TV show about little people who you know, are trying to live through life. And they, I, I was watching this one episode where they would get threats because people consider them abominations, uh, curses upon the world. And also I heard similar speeches, oh, well, comments made to people who are women who are trying to overcome glass ceilings or any kind of reversal saying, oh, you're a woman, you can't do that. Oh, you're a woman, you can't join the Olympics, this, that, and the third. African Americans, Asians, Hispanics, what have you. The idea that, oh, you can't do that because of something that you can't control <laughs> is ridiculous. But if someone says, these are the steps that you need to do this, do these steps and you be there. There are plenty of people who go, oh, I want to be there. I'm not willing to make the steps then you don't get that. <laughs> However, if, so, if someone goes, this is the list, and you go, okay, I can do one, two, three, four, all, I, I can do everything on this list. And they get there, and it's like, oh, sorry, you can't be up here because you are of a certain religious creed, you are a certain gender, you're a certain race, you're a certain sex, you can't do that. And it's like, why the hell not? The guy or girl or person who wasn't willing to make the effort, he has a better chance of making it up there than somebody who was able to do the work. Put the hours in. Make it happen. That's the ridiculousness. My little sister can still be able to reach the top of that shelf to get whatever she needs if she's smart enough to figure it out. Heck, she might even have to take some extra steps that I don't have to take. I need to reach. She needs to do a couple extra steps, but she made it up there. That's the point, right? But that's just my two cents. <laughs> that's all what I want to say on that. I believe people should just be understanding. I, should, I think people should see 
that, yes, we are all born differently. And yes, certain people might be, I can't even say prone, because it's like saying, oh, African Americans are prone to be better athletes. So, it doesn't mean that somebody who's Asian can't dribble basketball, can't ski, can't play football. Those people can if they really want to. They can go to the gym, put the hours in, and everybody else is drinking. They can be, you know, doing that, you know, working out, making themselves better, preparing themselves for what they want to do. My words to you guys, if there's anything, anything that you want to do and someone has ever told you, you can't do that. And I know you guys have because... Everybody has. Even people who social media or society might be, oh, they're privileged. They've been told, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't help those people in Africa. You can't go to uh, Afghanistan and cover this story. Or you can't be a single mom. You can't do that. You know, go find a husband. And do if, if someone tells you you cannot do something, the biggest success is to always prove them wrong. And I think I almost have a quote about that, but I, I honestly don't want to kind of go through my entire wall back there. But understand, that's what I'm saying. If there's something that you want to do, something you want to achieve, go for it. Make it happen. Because that is the American dream. That's the human dream. Screw the American dream. That's the, that's the human dream. If there's something that you want, make it happen. Equality is something that you can't force people to do. But if you can make them see... I can do it. I can do this job. Me, myself, I know that there are many jobs. I'm like, I have this kind of experience. I have this kind of background, this, that, and the third. And I know the guy next to me has it worse. Less experience, more things that he needs to worry about. They will possibly hire him for whatever reason. Might be like, oh, he's a cousin's sister's brother of somebody's dad's best friend in college. Grandmother's descendant or some stuff like that. But like, that should never be the factor, the fact that I am willing to work harder. I am willing to check off those items on the list. And if you are able to do that, do it. Show these people that stopping anybody from filling any goal, any dream that they want to succeed in, just do it and prove them wrong. And I guarantee you those people will be like, they have me to thank for that and be sure to shoot them down. <laughs> Be sure to be like, I did this because of people like you, but I did this more for me. Because this is something I want. You wanted to stop me, I made it happen anyway. Alright? And that's what I got. I'm sorry if I, I, I went way over line and I actually went a little bit off script. But I'm hoping that my message got, got across to you guys. Alright? I got 15 different other things I need to take care of because, like I said, merit. Gotta take care of things. Gotta show people that I can do things. <laughs> Alright guys, see you later.